Hey, John from B2Web here, going to take a quick look at the uh, custom widget areas for a WordPress plugin. This plugin is uh, really cool, something I've been looking for for a long time. And what it does is it allows you to make a uh, custom widget zone, and then with short codes, you can actually put any widget zone you like, uh, either the default ones or ones you create, and you can put them inside your content. So uh, I've already installed it. It's a plugin, so it installs in the usual fashion. So here we go. We've got our CWA settings. Uh, we'll start with. Uh, We'll add a new custom widget area. I've created one, but we'll just uh, we'll call this uh, custom widget two, and we're not going to position that. And as you can see, we'll publish it. So now we've created that, and just to make sure we've created that, we'll go to our widget panel and take a look, and you'll see that our zone is created right there. So I created one before, and now we've got custom widget 2 right down there. So just like that we've created a widget zone. Now this is a cool part. If we're going to add a new post, we have right here this icon, insert widget area. And then we get this pop-up box and we can choose what we want. So we can choose any of the existing default widgets which are these. And then we've got custom widget 1 and 2 and we just plug that in there and we can choose uh, a layout that we want, go with the full width. There are advanced settings that you can change some of the code, but I'll leave it as is, and we insert. There it is, that's the short code. Short codes are indicated with these square brackets at the front and the back. And we'll go ahead and publish that. If we take a look at the page, there's not going to be anything there because we don't have anything inside the widget zone yet. So let's go now to our widget panel and we'll throw some text inside that widget zone. Refresh that page and we'll be in business. So here we go. Where's our text? Text right here. We could throw anything in there. We could throw a custom menu we do that. So this way you can put widgets inside of content. You can use it for ads, you can use it for something you want to display like a menu or featured posts or, or whatever you want. It's uh, fairly handy. Uh, we'll just call it a custom menu. We'll choose our uh, top nav. There we go. So we've loaded up that custom widget 2. We'll refresh our page. Sometimes WordPress is a little bit goofy. I've had this ever since I did an update not too long ago. I have to uh, log out, log in. This happens on a lot of my videos and it's probably a good thing for you to see so if you're ever wondering why your widget changes aren't taking place there we go, look at that. So I've got a custom menu right inside our content. This is this is an actual blog post. We've been able to insert a menu there. But you know, don't don't think you have to use a menu. You could do anything with this. Uh, and well, I'll show you um, something kind of cool I did here. I actually did a page. And my line of thinking here was if you're not into coding. Uh, especially with PHP and creating your own custom widget zones. You don't have to use this to create custom widget zones if you're an expert coder. This is this is for people who aren't familiar with PHP and want some flexibility. What I did here though, I was toying around, I created this as a page, not a post, because I was contemplating making a, a new home page with more widget zones. What I did is, it's quite a workaround. Uh, there's much better ways to do this, but it is a workaround. If you wanted to create some different columns, you could use a, a different method for columns, but I just created a table and I inserted the widget zones in the different uh, tables. So here at the top, we've got a full width widget zone, and then we've got a double width, and then a triple width. And you can just keep building them if you like all the way down the page. So if we take a look at that, here we go. So we've got our custom widgets. 
got all zones. Now, you're not going to, this This is, I did some testing, you're going to want to create a different widget zone for each of these because if you just use the one widget zone, you're going to end up with, uh, let's say you put a custom menu in there, you're going to end up with uh, you know, six instances of that custom menu. So you would create six different widget zones, which is what we did when we started out this video tutorial. And then you load each widget zone with the content you'd want. And then what you could do, uh, the, the, like I said, if you know coding or are willing to learn, there's better ways to, to rig up new widget zones on a home page. It's just a little bit more complex. But if this appeals to you, what you could, in theory, do is, and I'm going to go in the editor, we have a home PHP. You could delete this from your files and always save a copy before you delete anything so you can upload it again if you have to. I'm, I'm in a Genesis framework and we're dealing with a, with a child theme here so there's not a lot of files here. This uh, in theory would work with uh, pretty much any theme. Uh, you, all you have to do is, is make your chosen page your front page. So Let's publish this because I didn't do that. So now it's published. And then what you would do is you go to your settings and you go to your reading. And you will select, usually by default you'll have your latest post at the top there. What you'll do is you'll select your static page and then you would you would do that. Now that's not going to work here because I didn't delete the .home .php, the home .php file and I'm not going to. Uh, other types of theme frameworks you don't actually have to delete the home uh, .php file and instead just select your front page and this will display as your front page and what you'll end up with is you'll end up with a fully widgetized home page and you can create new widget zones two column, three column, one column, all the way down. So what you could theoretically do, this is a default widget zone up here. I didn't create this. This is with the uh, 1140 child theme from Studio Press. You know, you could have a full width and put in a slideshow. You use like the Genesis slider plugin. If you use the Genesis framework or use V slider or some other plugin, um, maybe your theme has a has a slider built in. I don't know. And then you could put in uh, you know featured posts. You could put in an article, and then you could go down here and so forth. And basically, you can construct a whole homepage like this. So just a, it's just a thought. But what I like is having this uh, plugin in my, my arsenal. If I ever want to put in uh, widget zones inside the uh, content of pages or posts, it's uh, super easy to do. And creating new widget zones could be easier with this. Um, so I just thought I'd uh, show you that because this is a, a plugin I've been looking for for quite a bit. I think it's pretty cool.